Welcome to the mud show. How many of you have been here before? Okay. Who, who did you come with before when you came? With you who? I took a couple of um, my husband. I took a couple with your father of and mother. Yeah. Who been with the school before? How many been with the school before? So far, one, two of you. So most of you, this is the first time you've been here. When you come to a place called the Mudshoot Park and Farm, what kind of animals would you expect to find here? Just put your hand up. Yeah. Yes? Horses. Horses. Nine horses. Horses and ponies of different shapes. Yes? Rabbits. rabbits. We've got rabbits. Mainly at the moment, big rabbits and a few babies expected soon. Uh -huh. Goats. Goats. Yes, we've got goats, nanny goats and some kids. Anybody else? Chickens. Chickens. We've got, yes, lots and lots of chickens. Dogs. Yes, we've got some dogs here, not official, dogs that belong to people who work here. Dogs that walk in the afternoon, yes? And cows and calves. There's one animal we haven't said, he's got big ears and a short tail and looks a bit like a horse. Donkey. And then we've got half a million of something very tiny and flies about and makes Bird. some bees. Oh. bees, yes. We've got half a million bees. We're now going to go inside this part here. We've got some baby goats we've already seen, and uh, ducks and chickens. If you can walk about, but don't chase the animals, I'll catch them for you, then you'll be able to hold them and touch them and stroke them. But well, they... one thing you mustn't do, you mustn't eat them. You don't eat them <laughs> Would they bite us? No, they won't bite you. It's only dogs or cats that bite. These animals are quite harmless. So in a moment, we just, we just walk through the gate. I saw up there. you walk over what and see <laughs> Oh, oh there you are, you look. Come on, come on, join in the fun. One person. This chicken will lay an egg. But to help me in this process, I know you got the egg. Stop, okay. you, have to, you have to close your eyes for five seconds. Because to lay an egg is a very personal, painful thing. I don't lay many eggs, but I know chickens do. So to help me in the process, you all close your eyes. You all close your eyes. See what happens. Your eyes are still open. You can't lay an egg. Your eyes are still open. Here it goes. One egg. Here we are. Here's an egg. You know an egg. Let 
So they spend half their time inside here and half their time outside. Yes, Let's go outside now. Yeah. 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 Let's walk outside. Go. Why do you have to look it? Well, we have a skull so, we, so the cows don't escape. days is I like the children to see the animals. Living in the centre of London you get very little chance to see animals, cows, sheep etc. So I think it's great for the small children. Now we're going to shoot one of the sheep. Yeah, that belongs to the clippers. And if you just, just put your hands on here, you'll, no. and then smell your hand, have a sniff of your hand. It really smells nice, it's like perfect. Mm -hmm. And David enjoys this, his, his exercise. Some people go jogging, some go cycling, go sheep shearing. That way it keeps thin. Well, time has gone out, it's time to go. Thanks very much for coming, it's been nice having you today. What have you enjoyed about the visit? What would you say has been something that's really you've enjoyed seeing here today? The sheep. The sheep. Right. And you saw the and you saw your baby calf. And what's your baby calf called? Oh. What what did you enjoy today? The, the pony, yes. <laughs> and the chicken. Yes. The and the goat. Yeah. Any more? Oh. And the cow. Mm -hmm. you come. And the bus service, a good bus service here now to our little dogs. So thanks for coming. And we'll see you again. Well, goodbye then. Goodbye. See you. See you again. All right. Yeah, see you. See you a few weeks time. All right. Must be a good afternoon. Oh, yes, hello. Yes, ma'am, that's it for you. Hello. 6.30 this evening. Yeah, all the range, everything's going for you. Look forward to seeing you. Yeah, bye-bye. <laughs> 
The kids like the animals and the open space is good for them. They can sort of run around as they like. But um, we'd come here more often, but the point is we have to come, we'd have to come by public transport and that's a bit of a, a bind because we live in Wapping and Wapping is quite awkward to get to the Isle of Dogs. But I mean, if we live locally, our club was locally, we'd most probably come here every club night, I should imagine, in the summer. Mm. Well, we're going to show you around and, um, and, and do some things, have some fun. And Bill, we're preparing our barbecue Bill. over there. How are you going, Bill? At the height of the season, by the way, these are called beehive threats. I'm making that for bees. And the main bee is called a what? Whoa! No! We win! We win! How, how do you feel? Because I mean, I've got a small kid, and I mean, we, we, you know, we don't live in the UK. We live in London, but we live in sort of just up on the edge of the Hackney. And um, if she hadn't come to the farm, she'd never have seen any of these things. She would, she would just be pictures. I mean, how do you think that's important for, for London kids? That's quite true, actually, because I mean, when you take the kids to the zoo, as I say, it costs money because you've got to have coaches and that. I mean, actually, we took the kids to um, Whitsnade Zoo the other week. But um, I think there was more interest. They're not. They wasn't really interested in them sort of animals. But over here, they seem to be more interested. I don't know why. Perhaps it's the animals that they like. And how do you feel? How do you feel about the people actually working here? Do you feel that they they sort of they have made us the right kind of place? In atmosphere. I think. I think they've made quite a good job of it. Actually, yes. As long as you promise to go the next five times you work training, go. A crunchy one or a soft one? A crunchy one, Bill, please. The other word's first. Bill, give me a crunchy one. Bill, give me a crunchy one. Bill, give me a crunchy one. Bill, give me a crunchy one.
this area, I think the mud shoot farm is one of the best ideas that have ever come up uh, as activities on the island. Because I don't think there's anyone who lives on the island has never heard of the mud shoot. And I don't think there's uh, many people who have never actually been here. I think everybody's come and had a look to see what the mud shoot's like. Uh, it takes some people like it, some people uh, don't like it. But uh, for myself and my family, we come over here like the weather is now, nice and sunny. And it's a nice, normal, peaceful walk, and they like looking at the animals. And that, I think, uh, very, very good indeed. Right, we all say goodbye. Goodbye, Whoopi! Right. We'll see you next year. Right. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go.